My role at Johnson & Wales is part of the Bridge for Diversity, Equity and Social Justice. I started out at Johnson & Wales 15 years ago as what was then the director of the Women's Center and became the Gender Equity Center and has really kind of uh, transformed solely direct student-facing programs to be more intersectional. My previous life, I worked in victim advocacy specific to sexual and relationship violence. When I came to Johnson & Wales, it was more of an emerging issue, and now it is something that we consistently see paid attention to. It is a huge issue on college campuses. However, when I say that, it's a big issue for folks across the lifespan. But because we have such a microcosm here, we have a great opportunity to mitigate harm that's already happened to folks when they join our community prevent it from happening while they are at our community. And once they leave, how are we transitioning folks to create a world where there is less violence? Before I came to Johnson & Wales, I was a trainer in the Rhode Island Municipal Police Academy in sexual violence and relationship violence. There was a great transition point to come in and talk about our demographic of students and the issues that really impact our communities so that those safety officers who are there become more accessible, increase their knowledge and their ability to apply both our code of conduct but also creating inclusive responses. Being on the podcast with Dr. Chan was one of the most amazing things in that we have community resources who are that accessible and that upfront with doing what's right versus what sounds good. If we don't talk about it, how do we change it?